I'm just ringing up in regards to the convoy. Uh, there's no confidence. Uh, the comments that have been coming, not only from parliamentarians in Parliament, is upsetting a lot of drivers out there. I'm CEO of the Trans Health Foundation. We support transport drivers and their families in crisis. We deal with a lot of depression. We deal with a lot of suicides. I've got an email this morning from one of our drivers who is putting in his resignation today because he just can't take it anymore. And, you know, the carbon tax alone is going to be detrimental to this industry, but the slander that's going on out in the general public against transport drivers and their families is absolutely pathetic. Just because they bothered to go to Canberra, lose thousands of dollars, and say they didn't want a carbon tax and they wanted an early election. Like, at the end of the day, they behaved superbly, their behaviour was exemplary, and, and to think that they would be abused and smeared and sneered the way they have is yeah, just unacceptable. Drivers out there, truck drivers being called murderers because of transport and car accidents when 70% of car truck accidents are caused by the car. Yeah. We have got drivers that we deal with probably four to five weekly where car drivers suicide into truck drivers and they've got to go out there and deal with the repairing. Yeah, we can't go ahead, uh, Diane. You used a word that we can't use on the radio. Uh, to our broader audience and our uh, younger members of the audience, not a word to use, but you can understand we, we accept your passion, we can hear your passion, and you're dead right. They deserve far greater respect than the bucketing they have received simply because they bothered to protest, for many of them bothering to protest for the very first time in their lives. 